In December, current Framingham Fire Chief Gary Darty, who was one of the two final candidates for the Hopkinton Fire Chief position to replace Chief Ken Clark, who retired beginning in 2016, dropped his candidacy from the position just prior to the selectmen meeting on December 15th. The selectmen chose to make the other final candidate, Hopkinton Deputy Chief Stephen Slammon, interim chief, and start another search to seek additional candidates. At the beginning of the January 5th selectmen meeting, many residents stepped up to the podium to urge the board to make Stephen Slammon the permanent chief and expressed disapproval of the selectmen's choice to open the search back up for further candidates. I'd like to say I'm in support of Steve Slammon to be permanent chief. Uh, like Chief Clark had said, uh, the Hopkinton Fire Department, you can put him with anybody in the state and uh, I'll back that up with him anytime. <clears throat> so I definitely think you should make that choice tonight to make him a permanent chief. There's no reason not to. After the public forum, the selectmen discussed the fire chief position extensively and came up with three possible choices regarding selecting the permanent chief. I see fundamentally three choices. We can say we're done, take the interim chief, make him the full chief. We can kick the can down the road and, um, and revisit this in three months after the interim chief's had a chance to run things for a while. Or we can just say, we've already bought this, <laughs> right? We might as well just go and see what, what, what surfaces. I mean, essentially, right, it's right, start a search, see who shows up, and then, and then reevaluate based upon the data. So those, those seem to be the three choices we should, we're circling around. Um, and I think as a board, we just we should just decide on which one of those we want to pursue. I would just say that of those three options, I think options one and three are are um, are the only options where we're not opening up the possibility of doing more damage. Okay. Um, and uh, I think that um, you know my personal feeling. You know, we've, we've had a, a, a good conversation with uh, Deputy Chief, Acting Chief Slayman. Uh I think that he knows where he stands with us. I hope it's clear that it's in a very positive light. Um, and I think that we should uh, go with option three and, you know, just really solidify uh, and and create a stronger foundation underneath the decision. What it was was if we ended up with one candidate and that candidate wasn't a beloved member of the community that everybody came out and yelled at us about and we were left with that one and we had just said, okay. Then that community would have come out and said, how dare you guys just wait for the last person to come out. You know, and that's the part that, that I, you know, I didn't expect this, this barrage. I thought that we were doing the right thing. And I still think we're doing the right thing. That's what I was trying to get at. That's what I still think thought. we're doing the right, as much as, 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 much as, as, as he's beloved by me, um, that we, we stick to this process because he just, it, this, this could have been a whole different position down to one candidate, and that candidate not have that support, and we would have been looked at just as damningly. And and it's and it's it's hard for me. It's it's friends, family, and everything. Now I'm not invited to houses and stuff now because of this, and it's not easy. And it's and it's and I'm not, I don't take it lightly. In the end. The board directed the town manager and director of human resources to repost the position. The board will investigate scheduling an assessment center for the interim fire chief prior to March 31st and to evaluate new applicants for the fire chief and decide whether to continue the search prior to the March 31st deadline of Stephen Slammon's interim chief contract.